In the second part of our Kappa video series, we will cover creating a Kappa record. Here we're logged in at the FreeQMS home screen as our fictional Kappa manager. This is someone that creates and coordinates Kappa records for the organization and is granted the Create Edit View Kappa permissions. Let's click the Kappa module. Here is the home view of the Kappa screen. All FreeQMS modules have the same basic function. This home screen shows a simplified table view of Kappa records. Let's click the Create Kappa button. Here is the Create Kappa screen. This form collects a minimal amount of data because often so little is known about a Kappa until the investigation and root cause have been completed. We'll enter a title of Engineering Specifications Do Not Incorporate ISO 14971 for Risk. In this example Kappa, we've uncovered an issue where our product specifications are not designed to reduce risk as far as possible, but we don't know why. The coordinator is automatically set to our logged in user, but may be changed if necessary. We'll leave it be. Title and coordinator are the only required fields for the initial creation of a Kappa. Your organization may or may not know the Kappa due date at the time of creation. This may be pending a Kappa review board decision or the results of the investigation. In our fictional example, we have three months to close all Kappas, so we'll select a date three months from now. Legacy record ID works the same as other modules. This field is used to enter a Kappa number issued by your organization, such as CA1000. Our fictional companies are relying on FreeQMS to issue Kappa numbers, so we'll put NA in this field. Problem statement. At the minimum, a great starting point for the problem statement would be the known nonconformance. This is especially true if the Kappa is being created as a result of an audit or nonconformance record. We'll repeat our title in a longer form. The company's engineering specifications for the primary product do not incorporate ISO 14971 for risk management. Specifications do not reduce risk as far as possible. Keep in mind that this is a fictional example for a fictional company. Risk posed by problem. This is a great field to come back and update as the Kappa advances. For now, other than we are not compliant to 14971, we do not know the risk. We'll update this after the investigation. Let's click the Create button. We've now arrived at the Kappa screen, showing our newly created record. In the top left, we can see the title of our Kappa along with the coordinator, status, date, and record ID information. Next down, we can see the Kappa scope. Remember, our risk is not entered yet, but can be at any time using the Edit button. Now we get into the industry-leading features from FreeQMS. Other quality management systems have configurable fields to capture Kappa source information where users then have to manually write in text about the records driving the Kappa. Users then typically have to create a manual link to the record on another tab. FreeQMS, however, allows users to create Kappa sources from any other FreeQMS record in any module or a write-in. We'll add a source now. Click the Source button. The top field, Source Type, allows the user to select write-in for sources that will be written in, such as a record existing outside of FreeQMS or the result of a trend, or the user to select another FreeQMS module. For example's sake, we'll select Supplier. When a module is selected, the write-in title field automatically changes to a list of records in that module. The user can then select a record and write notes about why this record is chosen as a Kappa source. As this is a demo video, we do not know which modules customers have populated, so we will return the top selection to write-in. For our source, let's write in Customer Audit of Engineering Documentation. For our notes, let's write in Customer Performed Randomized Audit of Engineering Documentation as a result of a trending of complaints. Audit determined that product specifications within engineering documentation were not compliant to ISO 14971 and do not reduce risk as far as possible. Let's click Add. Great, now we have a source added. We can add as many sources as we would like, a great feature of FreeQMS. Now let's add our Kappa items. FreeQMS is a pre-built open-ended solution that allows users to add any number of Kappa items and then do activities against the Kappa items. This allows our form structure to maintain a great open nature that is applicable to almost every industry. Let's click Add Kappa Item. Once again, we have the option to change the source type to other modules, which will update a list of records within that module. We are going to leave write-in selected for this instructional video. 
we'll enter a title of Engineering Specifications. Our requirement will be ISO 14971 Section 3.1 Risk Management, although in the real world we would likely identify a specific clause that our Kappa items are not performing to. For notes we'll put, a Kappa is being opened against these items for the failure to perform during the source customer audit. Great, our Kappa is now complete. In the next part of our video series, we'll cover creating Kappa activities.